She's already drawing up a play. Give her some time and a team, and she'll be coaching them to a championship. Number four, Wind River at Wyoming Indian in the finals of the Fremont County Shootout. First quarter, Wind River wearing the purple. The score is tied at two, and Lexi Brown will untie it on the go. Well, sort of. That would make this a four to two contest. Wyoming Indian was able to match them bucket for bucket in the early goings. Amryn Brown with a 10 foot jumper. She's a freshman and she's getting some playing time. Things are knotted at four. Back and forth, these two rivals went for a while. The Lady Cougars get the ball ahead to Victoria Jorgensen and she will reward her teammates with a bucket for the cause to push the score up to six to four. The Lady Chiefs would find their own way to answer. Lavita White with some catch and shoot action for two points and everything is dead even again, this time at six all. Although this was a non-conference game, the visitors were out for redemption because they lost this game in the last tournament. Whisper Sun Roads has a two point secret and she got that one. Her team would go back up eight to six. And the home team came right back again. Amron Brown has a delivery and she makes it in order to get those two points right back. The scoreboard now reads eight eight. There was some defense to be found in this game. You're not going to visit Ethity and try to score a fast break on Jasmine McGill. This is her gym, and opponents usually do not have that easy of a time. So then Wind River figured whatever they can't do inside, they'll try from the outside, and I mean way outside. Alexia Wagon, she carried her load in this game, and you'll see more. Her squad would jump ahead 15 to eight. Wyoming Indian then cleaned up their act and chipped away at the deficit. Shaley Lone Dog gets around a defender and scores as her team trailed 15 to 11 after the first eight minutes. Second quarter, the Lady Cougars found something that was working for a while. Here's Wagon again from extra long range. She'll get a few friendly bounces and three more. She's a sophomore, so look out a couple years down the road. The visitors are up 20 to 13. Then the Lady Chiefs figured they could do that as well. White will eye it, spy it, and buy it. She poured in 15 points for her team, and they are now down 20 to 16. Then Amron Brown was on the move again. She has a delivery and provides reliable service to the hoop. That would get her team right back in this one, trailing 20 to 18. Later, Wyoming Indian was still playing catch up, down four, but White was delivering late holiday cheer on the reservation. It's a one point game with her team on the other side of a 22-21 score. Wind River was not about to give up the lead, but they had to do something to open up some breathing room. Lexi Brown is going for three more of her 14, and she's got this one dead center. It was much needed. Now it's 25 to 21. But the home team kept making this game interesting, and a number of players got in on the scoring. This is Shantae St. Clair announcing her presence, and her team was down 27-24 going into the locker room. Third quarter, Wind River would move ahead. Jorgensen has a one-on-one, -on -one Puts up a shot, whistle, count it. 10 points for the sophomore, and that made this a 32-27 game. And then there was Wagon, who was still on the go and hitting from anywhere from behind the arc. Here comes another three. The sophomore led all scores with 25. That would put her team ahead 35-29. to Wyoming Indian kept hanging around and tried to mix up their attack plan. Mackenzie Kalfboss ribs stepped on the line for that one, so that will go down as a long two, but every point mattered. Home team trails 39-33. However, their defense had a very hard time stopping Wagon and her very long range attack. That's because they didn't think she would keep trying from extreme long range, and she kept proving them wrong. The Lady Cougars were in decent shape, leading 43-34 going into the final eight minutes. Fourth quarter, the Lady Chiefs were trying to get back into this one. White would shoulder the load for a while, and it produced results. Her team is now down 46-40, but she could not do it all by herself. On the other side, Wagon almost could do it by herself. On some of these three, she was just throwing them up and she got a number of them to drop. That's why you practice. The visitors are ahead 49-40. Wyoming Indian gave it a good try. They just did not have enough to counter Wagon. Elsie Marquez will try to keep the deficit in single digits as this too would put her team at a 55 to 46 disadvantage. But most of this game was centered around Wagon and she was on fire all game long. Here's one last long ball to close out these highlights as Wind River would win the Fremont County shootout with a final score of 62 to 50.